What's up guys, Lorsotologist here, but that's Dr. Professor Lorsotologist to all of you guys. Uh, hey, welcome to the first video on my channel. Who thought I did not? Um, if you clicked on this video, you're probably wondering what this crazy contraption is right here. Uh, this is my portable BB trap that I made. As you can see, it's super thin and folds up right under my bed. Uh, the reason I made this is because if I, any of you are like me, uh, you have to test out your gun in the backyard, right? You gotta chrono it, you gotta check out the new site, whatever it is. Um, and when you're doing this, it's gonna leave BBs everywhere. And if, if another thing about me, I'm a kid uh, living at home trying to get through college, and I get yelled at because of these BBs all the time. And I got sick of it, and so I wanted to make this. And it's super easy to make. It folds out just like this. If I can get it, folds out just like that, and you got your trap right there. Uh, so it's super easy to make, and I'm going to show you how to do it today. So let's go. Doo -doo, boo -doo, boo -doo. Hello! Leave a like if you know what that's from. All right. Let's get into this. Second time recording this. Didn't like the first one. Let's go. All right, so some materials. Again, this thing is super easy to build. Super super easy. It's just kind of time consuming. So uh, I recommend turning on a movie or your favorite show because you're probably gonna put at least an hour or two into this guy. All right, so what you're gonna need, a decent pair of scissors. Um, I'd recommend some sort of uh, clothes scissors. These are emergency scissors, so they work pretty well. Um, but I did notice that they get kind of dull after going and cutting t-shirts for a long time. Uh, and then after that, you're going to need some sort of thick needle. Uh, I found some of these repair needles that my mom had in her sewing kit, and they work perfect, dude. Um, like, you're going to need to poke through some plastic materials, and so this nice thick needle helps with that greatly. Um, and to go with that, you might want a thimble. Uh, I didn't use it just because the the plastic I used was relatively thin and so like it didn't hurt pushing the needle through but if yours is thicker then you can always use that. Uh, next you're going to need a sharpie just to mark things off. You're going to need a hot glue gun, um, some either some thread or twine or yarn. I'd recommend going towards something thicker. Uh, it's more sturdy and it's a lot easier to work with. I imagine that something like this if it's not some sort of uh, strong thread that it would just snap a lot. And then after that, you're going to need a used t-shirt that you really don't mind cutting up. Uh, as you can see, this one has a bunch of holes in it, and so I had no problem cutting that up. Uh, you're going to need some cardboard, and then uh, most importantly, you're going to need your main two materials here. You're going to need a, uh, this is a fold-up laundry basket that I'm pretty sure we got from Walmart or Target for like a couple bucks a while ago. Um, the one I used was really beat up. We have a couple of these lying around. The one I used is pretty beat up, and this one is too, as you can see. Uh, but this one's still being used, so I'm not going to do anything with this one. But yeah, they're a couple bucks and they fold up nice and easy. Uh, super thin, and so you can just tuck them anywhere. Tuck them in the corner of your room or under your bed. Uh, I'm going to get that out of the way here. And then something else you're going to need. You're going to need your plasticky material. Uh, and this is to cover up the holes here. As you can see, uh, all these holes would just let the BBs through, and so I wanted to cover them up with some sort of plastic that wouldn't get shot through. And I found these uh, sheet baskets, or sheet... Uh, containers that come when you buy some sheets or just bedding materials in general and I found that these work awesome like uh, as you can see here it's super easy to cut into uh, I already did a couple times but you just cut a little thing right here and then just watch this just it just rips open um, so it's super easy to take apart and these panels here like this panel and the front panel uh, that I've already used they work perfect like they seem like they'd be too small, but honestly, they fit. They were even a little bigger than I, I had thought. Like I just move it as far back as I could, and they fit perfect. Um, and so yeah, you just find something like this that you have lying around the house. I'm a fan of recycling, and so I just like using stuff that I have lying around, and so I don't have to go out buy new materials, you know. Um, so yeah, get some of that, and you're ready to rock and roll. So first off, what you need to do is either cut up the t-shirt or cut a these bags up, like I showed you, they just, they just rip open super easy. Get one or two of those, uh, rip it open, and you got your panels. Um, so once you get those panels open, you're going to want to open up your, uh, let's get the, the old one. You're going to want to open up your basket, right? And grab your panels and just uh, measure out what kind of size it's going to be. You honestly really uh, shouldn't have to measure it out. But if it is a little small uh, and you might 
want to have a more precise placement, you would take your panel here and just put it on there, see what you like to see. Um, and you can either have it on the outside or the inside. I kind of prefer having it on the inside because if you have it on the outside, some BBs will uh, go through the holes and they'll kind of get trapped in between the material and the plastic. So I prefer having it on the inside. But let me tell you, it's a thousand times harder sewing it in. So what you're going to do, you're going to lay it down and you're going to lay your plastic out like this and grab your needle with some thread uh, stuck into it and you're just going to sew it through all the way around. Uh, really easy to do, it just takes a long time. As you can see here, the, the needle like it goes through like butter. So that's why I was saying you don't really need a thimble but uh, if you're experiencing more difficulty then you can use it. Uh, so yeah, you're basically going to do that for three sides and leaving, I like to leave this top side open just as a marker. I, I would cut this off, like I tried having a little target thing on here but the BBs just hit this and bounce off and kind of defeats the purpose. So I cut this off but I just use it to keep the top marked. So yeah, you're going to put a panel here, here, and here and then you're going to move on to cutting up your t-shirt. So cutting the t-shirt really sucks. This part is the worst part of the build, let me tell you. Uh, you're gonna need a cast after you finish cutting one or two t-shirts um, Unless your your scissors are way better than mine. I don't know. I might just have the scissors from the devil But once I start cutting into this sucker it hurts like I'll cut Just like that and it's already starting to hurt my fingers and my wrist um, And you're gonna have to do that with one or two shirts starting from the bottom and just working your way up Let's see if I can get a nice good piece here so I can explain the next part of what you're going to have to do. Um, and I recommend, it, it, it doesn't matter if it's uh, sloppy or not, like uh, the way you cut, like it can be more precise if you want. I actually did that because I found that, um, I, I was more precise because I found it saved some, some material, didn't use as much, like you don't get these everywhere, you know. Um, so once you cut, you're going to have to do that a bunch and you're going to get these, these rings. And you're going to want to find a thin part, snip it once, and then you're going to meet it up in the middle, bring your scissors up, and snip it again. And that's going to leave you with strands around this size. And as you can see here, I already made a couple. And you want them relatively around that size. Uh, and I'll show you why here in a second. So yeah, around this size or this size. So you can either take it like this, and you would fold it up just like that and tie it off just like that and it would uh, you can have it either this way or this way to fill in more space or make it thicker depending on what you want to do uh, I did it like this just all the way around uh, and the reason for that is it just gives you more space and um, yeah it's pretty self-explanatory the BBs come in hit the fabric and it slows them down and it, as it hits more and more it eventually stops uh, so yeah you want them either around this size or you can cut them in half for stuff around this size um, and that gives you a little more, but I recommend tying them off more like this rather than like this. Otherwise, it just kind of leaves the top protected and not more the bottom. So yeah, tie them off like that. And you're going to get a bunch of those, and you're going to try and fill in as much of this. And we're back. Sorry about that, guys. GoPros, cool cameras, battery life, absolutely atrocious. So, continuing on. So you're going to get your threads here as we were talking, or your threads, your strips here as we were talking about earlier. And you're going to get your yarn and you're basically just going to cut off pieces a little longer than this. This is going to be kind of difficult cutting or uh, tying off. But yeah, you just get the threads and you tie off the... Uh, uh, you you uh, have the strips just like this and you bring it in here and you just pop the threads super easily. Just bring them through the holes and tie off a simple knot. And it's as simple as that. It's uh, kind of like... Um, if you've ever tried to make a ghillie suit, similar to that, where you're tying off um, the uh, the burlap, uh, similar process. Again, it takes forever. Fingers are going to be hurting by the end, but it's well worth it in the end. It keeps those BBs out of the yard and don't have to spend a bunch of money for some sort of uh, market built trapped or BB trap. So as you can see here, it moves a little to one side or the other. And to counterdict this, uh, I just threw that piece in there randomly. And it really matters uh, that you keep the the material along a center axis here. Otherwise, it's again, it's one side is going to be heavier than the other, and it's just going to tip over. 
um, but it doesn't matter too much because as soon as we put in our backing it really just keeps it straight up like that okay so next piece after you do this a bunch of times just put in as many as you can and you want to try and not see the back at all the black back piece um, the black back piece that's a tongue twister uh, you don't want to see that at all and you want to have at least two or three strands uh, for every way a BB can go um, honestly you would fill it in more than this but I don't really care because I have my back panel here um, the back panel works by just having the plastic material here uh, and this stuff it, it is honestly really resistant to BBs at least I have found after they have uh, flown through the material basically you're gonna get another panel from this side right here and you're gonna line it up on the back here what I did was I just pinched in one corner held it up got my sharpie here and just marked marked out the square after you do that you get your cardboard over here you bring it here um, well first off you want to cut out uh, the the plastic then once you get that square you bring it over to your cardboard mark off the cardboard as well and cut the cardboard so you'd end up with a piece like this uh, two pieces of a plastic square and then the cardboard square and then you want to get your hot glue gun and just go all the way around the edges and just stick it on what I actually did was I went one edge at a time uh, just to see what how I liked it but if you want if you're quick enough you can do one whole square and then just plop it on uh, flip it over real quick pat it all the way around try and get as much surface area of that on that from that glue onto the cardboard as much as possible get as much stickiness as possible and then yeah once you get that piece it's real simple you just slide it through just like that and prop it up in the back and as you can see now it's super rigid like it's not going anywhere if wind comes by of course it's going to knock it down but um it's it's solid and uh so as the bbs come through it's going to hit each of these pieces of fabric these t-shirt pieces here and it's going to slow the bb down and so um the reason you see some of those tick marks in the back here on the piece of cardboard none of them have gone through the cardboard or the plastic uh but that's basically when you shoot full auto because if you shoot full auto like me i have a, uh, both an 11.1 .1 and a 7.4 battery and they just shoot crazy fast and so they'll come through and knock them all over and by the time they even come down it's, it shoots another one through but again i haven't had any penetrations if you do, uh, feel free to just add more cardboard or add more plastic. It'll basically counteract that. And so, yeah, let's get into the shooting. See you guys. Okay, guys, I'm losing daylight kind of quickly here, so I'm going to try and make this nice and quick for you. All right, so as you can see, this thing is super simply set up, and it's super compact. You can even leave your little uh, cardboard piece in right in there, and you basically just shove it right in. Make sure it's all the way back there, and now we get all those little pieces down. Go. And I can see it stands up nice and straight. Perfect. So I'm going to set that right back there. Another cool thing about this here is that you can make your own little targets and set it up right there. Alright, let's see here. And done. Okay, cool. Sorry, it's a little crude. I know I, I tried filling it in real quick and so it looks kind of weird, but it is what it is. So that's our target. And uh, so yeah, let's get into the shooting test. Okay, so today I'm going to be using my AM013 by Ares. Uh, it's in, in the Amoeba line and it's shooting at around 370 to 380 FPS. So let's see what she can do. I was running in a, a 7.5 Lipo. Let's go in full auto. Gotta wind up the mag a bit. Okay, so let's see how it did. 
All right, so I wasn't going for accuracy here. I was just mainly demonstrating. Um, so as you can see, a couple would fly out a little bit, uh, but for the most part, they're all in there. See a bunch of BBs all in the bottom there. See if anything went out the back. Nothing out the back. Uh, maybe a little more uh, protection would be good, but just a couple layers of cardboard would suffice. And uh, so yeah, that's our video. Thanks for watching, guys. Hi, I'm wearing a different shirt. That's weird. Hey, uh, thanks for watching. Really appreciate you being here and checking this thing out. Um, side note, uh, I was shooting pretty close for this thing. Uh, my gun shoots pretty high and a lot of other guns shoot a lot higher than mine. So you want to take a step back. Of course, uh, I have I don't have that much room in my backyard, but it still works, works awesome. And this thing collects BBs. That is what it's meant for. And so if any of you guys run a cyclone grenade or a tornado grenade or even a thunder bee, you can take uh, the BBs in it and pour them out and fill those grenades up with it. You might want to wash them up a little bit, but hey, if it works, it works. So yeah, uh, thanks for checking out my first video. Uh, I appreciate any um, input you guys have, any criticisms, um, and thanks for watching. See ya.